Hey, what's up? Welcome to the first ever programming tutorial on this channel. What I'm gonna show you, and hopefully manage to teach you, is how to read from a text file. And not only read, like read the entire text from a text file, but also read multiple lines. Multiple lines that you can actually choose from the text file. In this case, I have chosen to read line number 0 and line number 4. So that it simply displays... this text. And as you can clearly see, test with a little t and test with a big t. And that in this text file corresponds to the first line and the fourth line. Huzzah! Now, first of all, um, the way I've chosen to do this is to put the text file into a folder I had called text files inside the resources folder, but you can just simply put it into the resources folder if you want to. Um, and the way I've chosen to display the text is via a text mesh. So now you know that. So what you will need to do for this, or will need, you will need a list that you can just specify as rows to read from, give it whatever freaking name you want, but I chose to specify it as this. And then you want a file name where you can specify the file name so that the script can automatically find the file for you and you don't have to assign it every time. So, let's go on to the programming. So for this, first of all, you will need using system.io and using system.link. And something that I prefer to do, when I know I'm gonna need a certain component for any script, require comp component, type of, and specify the type of component that you want to add to any game object that holds this script. We wanna do a public static list of strings, and call it whatever you want. I have chosen to call it a text array. Then we want private, choose whatever component you want to display the text with, and then just title it something. I have chosen to title it text comp, short for text component. And as you can see, I'm using a text mesh. And after that, we want a public integer array of rows to read from simply. And then we come to the public string file name where we specify where the file we want to read from is. Or well, we don't specify where it is, we just say like, hey, this is the file you're gonna find. And then we have a private text asset, text asset. This is the thing that we're gonna assign the text to at the start, then we're gonna read from it and put it into the text array, and then we are going to go through the text array using the rows to read from, and put it into the text component's text, and then display it. So what we want to do then in start, is we want to assign the text asset equal to resources.load um, the file or well, folder you have chosen to put the file in. And then we want to add onto that the file name so that it knows exactly what or where to find the file. And don't forget to add a little slash in front of it to make sure that it goes from this, from this folder to find this file. And then we want to cast it to a text asset with as text asset. And I believe you can do a cast with this as well. I believe doing it like this way accomplishes the exact same thing. Just a matter of preference. And after that we want to assign the text component to whatever text component you have chosen to use. In my case just get a component text mesh. And then after that we want to read the file using this neat little <laughs> I was going to say function, this isn't JavaScript. Using this neat little void method. C sharp. So down here we have the public void read text file. So what we're going to do first is assign the text array all the text that we need. And we do so by setting text, text array equal to the text asset's text. Because we already assigned all the text that we need in the start to the text asset via this method. And then we want to split the text, and I have chosen it. I have chosen to split the text every time we bump into a new line. But you can simply do like replace these ones with a dot, a comma, semicolon, colon if you wish, whatever. Just make sure that you have an identifier. And then we want to cast it to a list because the text array is a list. 
and after that we want to go into a for loop using the rows to read from dot length as the um, well specified amount to iterate and so after that we go through the first if statement which mean or which reads rows to read from zero n less than zero and what this means is that we check in the first element here if that number is less than zero and what I have chosen for that to mean is that like let me show you if you were to have a negative one right here or well anything less than zero then it will interpret that as you saying you don't want to read any specific line then it's going to choose to read every single line and put it all into the text comp at once just like smack it in there if this is not true then it's going to check or well you have an or so either or if rows to read dot length equals to zero which means if you simply don't have any element that you want to read from if this character would be zero then it's also going to skip all of that and just read the entire text as it is if none of those are true then we're going to go down here and assign the text component dot text by a plus equals which means that we want to add each line separately into the text array or well the text components text so we do that by going into the text array and looking at the rows at the rows to read from with the um, with the identifier of i and so what this does is it checks through the text array at the specific number and by going through this it gives us like for example if rows to read it from is zero which it will be for the first iteration then we if we go through rows to read from check element zero and see that it is well zero in this case so then it will add the line in the text array's first element which is element zero take that one plus add a new line to that so that it makes sure like you know it goes like this pretty much to make the text extra neat and dandy and then it will add that line onto the text of the text component and then after that through the second iteration because right now I only have the size set to 2 what it will do then is check what number do we have at the second element or well element 1 because of how index work and so we have number 4 at element 1 or index 1 and so it will check what text we have at line number 4 add a new line to that and then smack that into the text components text and that's pretty much it then we have what we need to read and so with that with having the size of 2 and element 0 being 0 and element 1 being 4 that lets us read the first row of text and the fourth row of text which read test and test again and so if I wanna we can test it out by doing for example this should be 5 then and 6 7 8 5 and 9 how about that let's try that 5 and 9 so if this is done correct this should read new because why not and that's exactly what it does it reads new because why not and so yeah with that that that's pretty much it we are going to leave it here and i um i hope you learned something from this hope you have any use for this and hope that you enjoyed the tutorial if you did then be sure to let me know by smashing that like and sub button leaving an awesome comment and follow me on social media now have a good one and i'll see you later